I mean, uh, everyone who is, who is here knows me. I'm an emotional guy. I, I didn't do it to make someone mad. I'm, I mean, I just celebrate. We're not able to celebrate in this league anymore, or what? So that's that's only. I I didn't I didn't want to do something wrong. I just I just celebrate and that's all. So you're not gonna change. I mean, why I should change? Why why I should change myself? Uh, my personality, that's that's why I'm in the NHL, so uh, I'm not going to change anything. I mean, you can find a lot of, a lot of things to motivate. It's Battle of Alberta. It's, I don't know if it's about a stick flip. I, honestly, I don't even want to talk about it. I just did because I felt I want to do it. That's all. If someone's mad on me for doing that, just be. Just be mad on me. I'm going to do it next time either. I... Honestly, like, I'm I'm that guy who's who's showing the emotions, who's celebrating goals, who's celebrating wins, and it is what it is. Well, you got to be mindful of it. You know, I mean, um, you know, they, I mean, I can go back to Stanley Cup Final in 2011. You know, and all the things that fed our emotional level as a team that Vancouver did, it's it's all things in the same vein. You know, biting Bergeron's finger. Um, you know, goaltender going after Tim Thomas, you know, verbally, um, making fun of, you know, we had a, we had a, a jacket that Johnny Busick had, had owned. It was an old jacket that we used as a player of the game thing. You know, they made a comment about that, about how petty it was. It was Bantam hockey. I mean, there were so many things that happened in that series that just kept emotionally feeding us, you know. And the one thing about our team in Boston was we fed on emotion. Like, you some nights we might have slept a little bit, but when you woke us up, I mean, that we were at our best. And so, yeah, I mean, am I, you know, I think when you win, say little, when you lose, say less, you know, like it's, it's one of those things where you don't want to emotionally feed it. And I think um, we learned an, an important lesson by doing it. So, you know, that's uh, part of the process of learning how to win. And, you know, now we move on from it. I'll say this, as a professional athlete, I think, uh, I think, you don't get to this level without being self-aware. Um, we're always our harsh, harshest critics um, internally and looking at yourself first and foremost. So um, for us as a group, I, I think that uh, um, we like our team, we like our group, we like our camaraderie, and we like to win together. Um, so we just want to keep doing that. We just want to you know, put our foot on the gas here down the stretch. Um, we got a lot of big games, uh, some big games coming up in some tough buildings, and we're aware of that. Um, and, and I think you just plug away one game at a time, uh, leave the past in the past, and, and just plug forward. So that's, that's, that's our mentality right now, and I think it's going to have to be that way. I mean, I, I just got to do what, it, what, what I've done in the past and then do what I got to do moving forward. I mean, I know what my role is. I know, you know, how to do it and, and, and all that type of stuff. So, um, yeah, just like I said, just, just come to play every game and, and play with emotion. And, you know, sometimes you can't have the other team, you know, kind of wake you up. You sometimes you got to take it on yourself to, to wake yourself up. And that's, that's what it is moving forward. Um, I think the, you still have to have, you come to the rink every day and you have to have that emotion to come in and, and be emotionally engaged. I think if you lose, I obviously won't be to that level, but um, you still have to come to the rink prepared and, and emotionally engaged every day because you can't take any days off, especially the way the standings are right now. So that should motivate us enough to, to come to the rink and be prepared every day. You know what? I, yeah, I think we've seen it at points for sure. Um, but again, it's... You know, it's learning how to handle all those different emotions. And, you, you know, we've talked about it before. You, you can't get the highs get too high or the lows get too low. I mean, every game is one out of 82, but you need to certainly take those lessons along. But sometimes that's a hard thing to consistently get. Um, I think especially when you're, you know, when you're learning how to win on a consistent basis. Because when you get that emotional engagement to a point where it's consistent and it's reliable, and I think what that really does for you is it, it allows you to have confidence in the fact that you're ready to play every night. Um, and so for us, uh, I, I think as a, as a young team, and I, I really consider us to be a young team, you know, and we've talked a lot about the other day about where we feel we are in the evolution of our team. You know, moving from that winning team to being a contending team, that emotional engagement is certainly an important piece. 
Well, you just you just got to be ready. Um, every game is going to have its own its own life, if you want to call it. Um, every game is going to be really important. You're going to be playing against teams who who are in the playoffs. You're going to be playing against teams who are hanging around right in those spots. You're going to be hang, you know playing against teams that that are out of it that 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 want to spoil it down the stretch. So there's there's going to be a blend of, of teams, and you you want to be either one of those teams that are in it or one of the teams that are right there battling for those spots. Um, and quite frankly, it's it's so tight right now that uh, teams are going to start separating. You're going to have more divisional games, and those things are going to happen. And you're going to separate yourselves, but you want to be in that group that is pulling away from everybody else. Um, and to get there, you got to win. Uh, I think you just got to refocus every day and realize that every game is going to have a, a different task at hand, I think, first and foremost. And every game is going to have its own personality, and things happen, things happen. But um, you, you can't overthink um, You know the big picture. You, you have to just kind of have that singular focus and Truthfully, it's probably not the right answer that, that you guys would want to hear. Was saying that you got to just worry about today, and, and everything else will kind of take care of itself. But that's the mentality you need to have, and especially down the stretch, when there's going to be a lot of ups, a lot of downs, things are going to happen. Um, you just got to be prepared to to just keep looking forward. Well, you know what? I mean, it's not always that you don't have emotion. Sometimes you're too emotional. <laughs> you know, so you know there's that optimum zone where you perform, and sometimes if you can get too hyped up for a game it affects your performance in a negative way as well so I'm not saying that all our guys were brain dead and not emotionally attached to the game I think with some of us it was just that there might have been too much emotion well I mean I certain I certainly got my opinions on it uh, if you want an accurate answer you might want to ask those guys that question I mean you know they're in there together all the time but uh, I certainly have some ideas on it um, and it's it you know certain things with certain teams will be that will be that push point um and let's hope uh you know let's hope that we're able to use that to our advantage you know uh, down the stretcher